The Little Havana Development Authority and tour operators have been working for months to get a guided tour in the Little Havana area. They feel the neighborhood has a lot of potential as a tourist attraction and are trying to develop it to its fullest. The tour itself will probably begin here at Southwest 8th Street and 19th Avenue. Among the spots it'll visit are a botanica, an Afro-Cuban religious store where people can buy flowers and items which will introduce them to some of the more popular Hispanic folkways and superstitions. From there, the tour goes to a Cuban ice cream store, which has a variety of ice creams in tropical fruit flavors. Churros, a sort of Cuban donut, and hot chocolate are also available. A store which sells and manufactures piñatas, Domino Park, and a cigar manufacturing store are also on the list of stops for the tour. We have a product here. Little Havana to me is like uh, many of the people outside. It's a foreign city than the city of Miami. We have a product here that you've seen for yourself. It's got a lot of flavor. It's got a lot of attraction to the people on the outside. I think it's, uh, it's an ideal place to bring tourists into the area. We need to improve it a little bit, but at the same time, we have to bring people into the area. We proved that to the Little Havana Cubanos Club, Open 8, where we had thousands of people. To the last one was about 250,000 people come to A Street and had a great time. Well, we want to do this, but do it every day. The Development Authority is also coming out with maps of Little Havana in case people wish to take a self-guided tour. Points of interest are indicated. They'll be distributed through travel agencies in different parts of the country as well as through local hotels. The guided tours will probably begin at the end of this month. Dan Noah, Channel 4 News. Many think that getting up at the crack of dawn is strictly for the birds. For these people, however, birds are a very good reason for getting up before the sun does. They're members of the Tropical Audubon Society and staffers from the Metro Parks and Recreation Department, and they're counting birds. Every single bird they see within a seven and a half mile radius stretching from Grenolds Park to Virginia Key to Miami International Airport gets counted. It doesn't matter whether it's as common as a pigeon or as rare as a whooping crane. The project is part of the 10th annual Dade County Bird Count which itself is part of a broader nationwide count in which more than 1,300 groups across North America take part. Uh, ornithologists use the data in different ways, um, hopefully to vary the influence of man in the habitat or in pointing out the potentially endangered species. Here in South Florida, Dr. Mena says bird watchers have discovered an increase in the number of gulls. As our city's human population grows, so does our garbage output. And since garbage is mostly what gulls eat, that accounts for the increase in their numbers. Tomorrow, Broward County bird watchers get their turn to count. Dan Noah, Channel 4 News.